In the field of space exploration, a recent discovery by India has sparked curiosity and global discussions. Reports suggest that India may have found something on the moon, hinting at hidden information not disclosed by NASA. This unexpected finding has raised questions and captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. What exactly did India discover on the moon that NASA might have kept under wraps? Could this discovery reshape our understanding of lunar exploration? Join us as we delve into India's recent discovery regarding previously undisclosed information on the moon, shedding light on what NASA might have kept undisclosed for years. Let's travel back to 1966, a significant year in the history of space exploration. Luna 9, a Russian spacecraft, achieved a groundbreaking feat by performing the very first soft landing on the moon. This achievement was monumental, not just for the successful landing, but also for capturing extensive images of our nearest celestial body. Luna 9 had a unique design, resembling a spherical capsule weighing 99 kilograms and measuring 58 centimeters in diameter. What set it apart were its innovative features. Upon landing, it deployed four pedals to ensure stability while revealing crucial instruments. Among its cargo were advanced devices like a communication radio system, solid-state radiation detectors, and an essential thermal control system to manage extreme temperature fluctuations. One of Luna 9's most remarkable features was a television camera mounted on a rotating platform. This camera delivered breathtaking images of the moon's landscape, showcasing stark contrasts of rugged craters against rolling hills, uncharted terrain untouched by humans. These images made headlines, capturing the public's attention. Luna 9 went beyond capturing pictures. It studied moon temperatures, ranging from freezing minus 153 degrees Celsius at night to blazing 123 degrees Celsius in the day. These readings provided insights into the moon's thin atmosphere compared to Earth's and radiation levels, estimating about 30 rankings a day. Luna 9 even pushed a rod into the soil, finding it could hold at least 0.4 kilograms per square cm, suggesting potential for future lunar landers. Working for about three days until its batteries died, Luna 9 sent eight images and valuable data, sparking further research. Subsequent missions, like Luna 13 in the same year, conducted similar tests and expanded our knowledge of the moon. Fast forward to 1969, the Apollo 11 mission reshaped our understanding of space. Launched on July 16th, it aimed to land humans on the moon and bring them back safely. The crew, consisting of Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, played different roles. The mission comprised three key parts. Columbia, the command module, the service module, providing essential resources, and Eagle, the lunar module for landing and return. On July 19th, Armstrong and Aldrin landed the lunar module in the Sea of Tranquility. Armstrong's iconic words marked humanity's first steps on the lunar surface. They performed experiments, collected samples, planted the American flag, and set up scientific gear. Meanwhile, Collins orbited the moon, conducting experiments and taking photos. After completing their tasks, Armstrong and Aldrin reunited with Collins on July 21st, leaving the moon's orbit and heading back to Earth. This marked a historic moment in space exploration, expanding our understanding of the universe and our place in it. They landed in the Pacific Ocean on July 24th. Apollo 11's achievements went beyond what we could see. Scientists found out that the moon has a faint atmosphere and is covered by regolith, a dust layer from tiny meteorite impacts. There is no global magnetic field, but some areas have magnetic anomalies. Although mostly dry, evidence of water ice was found in the moon's shadowy craters. The moon's estimated age of 4.5 billion years suggests it formed from a colossal collision between Earth and another celestial body. Jumping to 2023, India launched a crucial space mission called Chandrayaan-3. It was a big deal for everyone interested in space. Its main aim was to land carefully near the mysterious South Pole of the Moon, a place full of scientific mysteries. This mission had three important parts, each with its job. The orbiter was like a watchful eye in the sky with eight fancy tools to study the Moon's surface from a circular path about 100 kilometers above it. Accompanying the orbiter was the lander named Vikram, in honor of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, 
the visionary founder of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. Vikram, beyond being a symbolic tribute, was a robust workhorse furnished with four instruments to collect data on temperature variations, seismic activities, plasma density, and surface composition. The journey started on July 14, 2023, with the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV, rocket launching Chandrayaan-3 from the Sadish Dawan Space Center in Sriharikota, India. However, the mission wasn't a direct journey to the moon. Instead, it engaged in a meticulous orbital dance around Earth for over a week, gradually building the required momentum. On July 21st, 2023, Chandrayaan-3 commenced the next phase of its mission by executing a precise translunar injection maneuver. This strategic move aligned the spacecraft to be captured by the moon's gravitational field, transitioning it into an elliptical orbit around the moon. The ISRO team continued refining the spacecraft's path through a series of meticulously planned orbit-raising and orbit-lowering maneuvers over the following weeks. Their objective was to position Chandrayaan-3 in an optimal circular orbit, maintaining an altitude of around 100 kilometers from the moon's surface. By August 19th, 2023, this complex objective had been successfully achieved. Then, on August 23rd, 2023, Following the intricate orbital maneuvers of Chandrayaan-3's orbiter around the moon, the moment arrived for the lander Vikram to undertake its ambitious descent toward the lunar south pole. Detaching from its parent orbiter, Vikram faced the daunting challenge of landing on the lunar surface, an endeavor akin to navigating through a challenging passage. Descending from space toward a celestial body is no small feat. Vikram's critical mission involved reducing its initial speed of 1.68 km per s using onboard thrust, meticulously decelerating to almost a complete standstill. Yet, the challenge extended beyond mere speed control. As Vikram approached the moon, it had to make precise adjustments to its path and orientation, similar to a pilot making last-minute adjustments during a landing to ensure a safe touchdown. Executing this maneuver with exceptional precision, Vikram nestled itself between two lunar craters, Celis N and Manzina C. This specific region was known for its extreme temperatures, dropping to a bone-chilling minus 240 degrees C, with scarce sunlight occasionally reaching the lunar surface. After the successful landing, Vikram swiftly deployed its solar panels, resembling wings after a long flight. It also extended its antennas, establishing a communication link with the orbiter above, enabling connections with researchers and scientists eagerly awaiting information back on Earth. However, the lunar surface mission had only just begun. After allowing a brief period for the moon dust to settle, similar to waiting for dust to settle after a gust of wind on Earth, the rover Pragyan received the go-ahead. Emerging from Vikram's ramp, the rover resembled an explorer setting foot on an untouched island. Pragyan had about two weeks, equivalent to a single lunar day, to achieve its mission objectives. Designed to travel up to half a kilometer from its parent lander, the rover was equipped with onboard cameras and sensors, possessing the capability for autonomous navigation on the rocky and unpredictable lunar surface. This ensured it could maneuver without stumbling over obstacles or getting trapped in challenging terrain. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission not only marked a historic venture into the uncharted territory of the moon's south pole, but did so with remarkable financial efficiency, with a tight budget of just $74 million. The mission surprised many by showing India's ability to mix cost-effectiveness with advanced space innovation. To understand the financial aspect, let's look at the numbers. According to K. Sivan, the former chairman of ISRO, the mission's total expenditure was approximately 615 crore rupees, roughly $74 million. Breaking down the budget, expenses for the lander, rover, and propulsion module were around 215 crore rupees. The launch services incurred an expenditure of approximately 365 crore rupees. This efficient budgeting is notable especially when compared to the previous Chandrayaan-2 mission, which, despite its unsuccessful landing in 2019, had a significantly higher budget of 978 crore rupees, equivalent to $96.5 million. Comparing Chandrayaan-3's budget with other global lunar missions reveals its remarkable cost-effectiveness. Russia's Luna 25 mission, which targeted the lunar south pole but tragically crashed, 
had a budget nearing $2 million. NASA's upcoming Viper rover project, planned for 2024, was estimated at a substantial $433 million. Similarly, China's successful Chang'e, four mission to the moon's far side in 2019, cost around $180 million. What contributed to Chandrayaan 3's budget-friendly approach? A significant factor was its compact design. The combined weight of the lander and rover was only 1.4 tons, not lighter than its international counterparts. For instance, NASA's Viper rover alone weighed roughly one ton. This strategic lightweight design substantially reduced various associated expenses, particularly those tied to launch and fuel. However, weight wasn't the only advantage. Chandrayaan 3's financial efficiency was also attributed to its prudent use of existing technology. India utilized the GSLV-MK3, its most robust rocket, which had been used in several successful missions previously. Additionally, instead of starting from scratch, the lander and rover for Chandrayaan 3 were adapted and enhanced from the designs used in Chandrayaan 2. But the mission faced more than just financial challenges. Chandrayaan 3, India's third attempt to unravel the mysteries of the moon, encountered various obstacles from liftoff to landing. It began with the monumental task of achieving the correct lunar orbit. On August 15, 2023, the GSLV MK3 rocket propelled Chandrayaan 3 into space from the Sadish Dawan Space Center in Sriharikota. However, reaching the moon required more than just speed, it demanded precision. The spacecraft needed to execute a series of intricate maneuvers utilizing both its thrusters and the gravitational forces of Earth and the Moon to position itself into the desired lunar orbit. The precise placement was crucial to ensure the ideal trajectory for the subsequent landing stages. The mission's ambition extended further. The objective was to explore the lunar south pole, a region suspected of harboring water ice and other valuable resources within its craters. Targeting this uncharted territory brought forth formidable challenges, including rocky terrain, extreme temperature fluctuations, and potential communication obstacles. The Chandrayaan-3 team faced the monumental decision of selecting a landing site that balanced the need for sunlight, a stable surface for landing, and uninterrupted communication channels with Earth. What made this task even more daunting was that Vikram had to perform this maneuver without real-time communication or human intervention. It had to rely solely on its onboard systems to make critical decisions, adjust its thrust, analyze the uneven lunar terrain, and execute a flawless landing. In a triumphant display of engineering and precision, Vikram accomplished this challenging landing, paving the way for the rover named Pragyan to explore the lunar surface. However, the mission didn't conclude with just a successful landing. Operating on a tight schedule of 14 Earth days, equivalent to one lunar day, the lander and rover had a crucial timeline to conduct their operations on the moon's surface. Within this limited time frame, they raced against time, performing experiments, studying lunar soil, recording temperature variations, and transmitting this invaluable data back to Earth. The challenges were numerous. The lunar environment presented extreme temperatures, fluctuating between a bone-chilling, minus 108 degrees Celsius, to a scorching 100 degrees Celsius, unpredictable communication blackouts, constant exposure to solar radiation, and the vital task of efficiently managing power resources. A pivotal focus of this mission was dedicated to researching the presence and distribution of water and other essential substances, particularly near the Moon's South Pole. What made this region so captivating was its hidden craters, perpetually shielded from sunlight, potentially harboring water ice vital for future human expeditions and settlements. Conversely, parts of the South Pole were bathed in sunlight for most of the Moon's day, offering an energy and communication hub for lunar missions. With such ambitious goals, top-notch equipment was a necessity. Vikram, the lander, housed a Lunar Surface Thermometer, LS, which recorded the Moon's temperature readings throughout the day creating a thermal map around the South Pole. Such data was crucial to identify regions potentially hiding water ice due to their low temperatures. Additionally, Vikram was equipped with a Laser Retro Reflector Array, LR, bouncing laser signals off orbiting spacecraft or telescopes back to Earth. This interaction wasn't just for talking. It helped scientists measure distances on the Moon 
and study its gravity and rotation mysteries. Then there was Pragyan, the rover armed with cutting-edge tools. It carried a laser-induced breakdown spectroscope, LIBES, and an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer, APXS. LIBS used a laser to vaporize a tiny bit of lunar soil, analyzing the light emitted to understand the soil's composition. On the other hand, APXS identified elements in the soil, from common ones like oxygen and magnesium to rarer ones like titanium and chromium. Together, they searched for traces of water by detecting elements like hydrogen and carbon. Pragian wasn't just about soil and elements. It had eyes in the form of a stereo camera, SCAM. This camera took high-resolution snapshots of the moon's landscape, helping with navigation, spotting obstacles, and creating a 3D rendering of the surface. This 3D rendering made it easier to identify the best spots for sample collection and detailed analysis. The accomplishments of this mission were remarkable. Pragyan, the rover, made an unexpected discovery of sulfur near the moon's south pole, a rare element on the lunar surface. Scientists discussed whether this finding indicated the presence of water ice or other volatile substances nearby. Additionally, Pragyan's sensors were tuned to detect hydrogen, a telltale sign of water. Vikram II, the lander, transmitted intriguing data about temperatures around the South Pole, ranging from a chilly minus 156 degrees Celsius at night to a scorching 121 degrees C in daylight. These insights were crucial to understanding how water ice and other resources might persist in such harsh conditions. In 2019, as India prepared for its Chandrayaan-2 mission, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson expressed excitement and optimism for the mission. Chandrayaan-2 aimed to make India the fourth nation to perform a soft landing on the moon. Unfortunately, the mission faced a setback when its lander lost communication with Earth, resulting in a crash on the moon's surface. Fast forward to 2023, and India launched Chandrayaan-3, achieving success with a landing near the elusive south pole of the moon. Tyson commended India's resilience and achievement, emphasizing how India had precisely accomplished what it set out to do. Chandrayaan 3's successful landing symbolized a triumph for scientific curiosity and global progress. Tyson highlighted the Moon's South Pole as an area of special significance for scientific research. This region holds potential for discovering water ice, a crucial resource, and serves as a potential source of rocket fuel. The ancient rocks in this area offer valuable clues about the intertwined history of the Moon and Earth. The Vikram lander's mission on the lunar surface was remarkable. It carried various scientific instruments to explore the Moon's nature, measuring temperatures, seismic activity, plasma density, and the Moon's magnetic field. Meanwhile, the propulsion module in lunar orbit captured detailed images of the Moon's surface and studied Earth's atmosphere, seeking to understand atmospheric phenomena and climate through polarimetry. In an exciting discovery, the propulsion module identified a potential lava tube near the Schrodinger crater. Lava tubes, formed by flowing lava, could serve as shelters from space radiation, extreme temperatures, and meteorite impacts, making them potential habitats for humans on the moon. This revelation brings human exploration and long-term habitation on the moon closer to reality, emphasizing the significance of space exploration and India's substantial contribution to our understanding of the cosmos.